Hey guys, welcome to a fresh video on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. Hey, today's day one of the trade period. It's officially open. We've been talking about rumors and conversations and we're probably still gonna continue to do that until deals are made and trades are done. But to kick things off, you'll be aware that we are sponsored during the trade period and the draft period by Big Bedding Australia. So using the code blue abroad will give you 15% off all your orders, no minimum spend, free shipping, and this lasts until the draft. So get in there, link is in the description and go for your life. In today's video, this is an interesting update. I saw a tweet that came through around Tim Membry from the St. Kilda Football Club. Now, Sammy Edmund mentioned this, he said, they're still interested in Tim Membry, Carlton. They had a go 12 months ago, but it was a bit tough with him still in contract. I was not aware that there was interest last year. I don't recall having any conversations around Tim Membry. So firstly, that's news to me. Secondly, I'm curious around what happens now. Is there a play to be made? It's a new name that's come to the top of the conversation and I guess thinking about Tim Membry, all I think of is the nickname that we have for him around here. Three goal memory, loves playing the blues. Well, seemingly loves playing the blues. I have this image of him kicking three goals pretty much every time we play him. But I mean, you, you have a look at the profile of Tim Membry, 30 years old. He'll be 31 next season. He's played 179 games. This is a, this is a smart footballer. This is a very good high IQ footballer. Um, I wouldn't put him in a superstar basket, but I would put him as a guy that gets his job done. Um, and the most important thing that I saw when I looked through season by season about memory was that he had played 20 or more games on five occasions. And that was 2022, 21, 19, 18, and 17. This year he played 19 games. Last year was the lowest that we saw from him since his days at the Sydney Swans. He played the seven. Um, and so a curious scenario pops up. Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind this profile of player for us. I think there's a perception that we want to become like Geelong and become the factory that they are. Yet whenever we talk about players who are 30, or more, there's a perception that they're too old. I don't agree. I think firstly, 30 to 34, 35 is okay. Um, Nick Haynes has just come to the club, he's 32. I think the, that age profile is exactly what we need. A bit more uh, durability with players, a bit more intelligence with players and, and professionals and, and those who can help come in and lift the standard. Now, memory I think can do that. The fact that he's been available for so long says something about his career. And I think that that's something that we could use. And to be honest, in our forward line, we have, in my view, we have this star factor about it, but I don't think we have intelligence for long enough about it. I don't think we have enough selflessness about it. And memory, I think, can help in this regard. Uh, a senior head, an experienced head, a guy that can come in and play a role. What I've always noticed about Tim Membry is his ability to lead in a really intelligent way. His leading patterns are elite, I would say. Um, and having spoken to a few St. Kilda supporters more and more this year, particularly with footy abroad and particularly with Jake from Saints TV, um, I've learned a bit more about him and a little bit more about his role. So this is a curious one. Where do you sit on this? This is a fresh update, a fresh name that we haven't spoken about in terms of potentially coming to Carlton at all. So what do you think about potentially making a play for Tim Membry? Let's chat about it. 